Hi, I'm Debbie Dalrymple, and today I'm going to show you how to make a three column table of contents. We'll start out with a simple table of contents, and I'll show you how to adjust it into the number of columns you'd like. If you have a really long table of contents, it may stretch on from page to page that isn't really necessary. So we'll show you how to use three columns to condense it onto one page. So here I have a document that's three pages long and a place is already set up for our table of contents. We'll start by inserting the table of contents. To do this, you click on References and then Table of Contents. On the drop down here, you see several choices for what your table of contents will look like. You can pick any one you like. And now we have a table of contents. But you'll notice with these short titles, we really don't need the whole page. So we can save some space by condensing this into three columns. To set this up as three columns, we'll go to the Page Layout ribbon, then we'll click Columns and choose three. Now you'll notice our table of contents is much more narrow, and as the table of contents and the document grow, column one will fill up, and then column two and column three. Here's what that will look like with a full table of contents. So that's how you can take your table of contents and make it into three columns in Microsoft Word.